Good afternoon and welcome to Washington Junior High's 2020 graduation ceremony. At this time, I would like to invite Morez Johnson and Denasia Lewis to the stage who will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon again. My name is Dornetta Walker and Dr. Gina Driscoll is my assistant principal. At this time, we would like to acknowledge the members of the Board of Education. Mr. Larry Lawrence, Board President. Mr. Charles W. Lloyd, Board Vice President. Mrs. Faith E. Gunter, Board Secretary. Mrs. Kim Atkins, Board Member. Mrs. Andrea M. Johnson, Board Member. Mr. Charles Givens, Board Member. Mr. Ernesto E. Mickens, board member. We would like to also acknowledge our district administration. Dr. Kevin J. Nolte, superintendent of schools. Dr. Sonia Whitaker, deputy superintendent of schools. Mrs. Melanie Yanis, director of support programs. Mrs. Tori Navarri, Director of MTISS, PBIS, and Bullying Prevention. Dr. Lisa Davis-Smith, Director of State and Federal Programs. Mrs. Karen Marshall, Director of Technology. And Mr. John Donemeyer, Director of Research and Innovation. At this time, our board president would like to speak. Greetings, graduates, staff, and community members of Dalton and Riverdale. My name is Larry Lawrence, board president. On behalf of the Board of Education, I welcome each of you as we celebrate the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2020. As you prepare to transition into high school, you may have mixed feelings of excitement, fear, or no feelings at all. This is normal as it is a part of life and is preparing you for life after school. These stages are stepping stones from elementary school to high school and beyond. The Board of Education hopes that your time in District 148 is a time that you will hold near and dear to you as you will see that each new stage brings forth new opportunities. The Board of Education is proud of your successful completion of your elementary education in District 148. As you continue on your quest for greatness, always remember this most famous quote from Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. The Board of Education congratulates each of you on your well-deserved success. Thank you, Larry Lawrence. This year's salutatorian is an exceptional young lady who pushes herself to not only to be a leader in the classroom, but with also her peers. After spending just a little time with her, you'll notice her quiet demeanor, beautiful smile, positive spirit, and academic drive. Please join me in welcoming the 2020 salutatorian, Alicia Williams. Good afternoon. I'm Alicia Williams, your 2020 salutatorian. I hate we all couldn't be here because we all waited for this moment to arrive. To my fellow 2020 graduates, even though it's the last time being here, and trying not to shed a tear, this is the day we waited all year to come. We all are quite unsure if we're ready for the next leap into our future, but why stop here? This is just the beginning. A special thank you to the teachers and principals for pushing us when we felt like the roads were getting too tough. I feel confident to say we are definitely prepared and facing whatever obstacles we may encounter. In sixth grade, it was a step into new territory, a run for it when we had just messed the walking. Seventh grade was the year of discovery. It was all more familiar. 
but with new opportunities opening up to us, we gain experience that we would otherwise would have never been aware of. Our eighth grade year began with the subtle realization that we were now upperclassmen. The leaders of Washington and conclude with the development of new goals and ambition for our first year of high school. All throughout middle school, we took chances and experienced changes. Chances personally of setting higher goals and standards in life and experienced new atmospheres and we all experienced true achievement. All the paths we took, all the decisions we made, they helped us to realize who we were and who we wanted to be. We learned, who, we learned not to follow in footsteps, but to create our own ways. Middle school gave us a chance to love ourselves, walk with confidence, and live without holding back. I'm proud to start a new journey and enter high school, but only our decisions will decide what tomorrow will bring. Even though today is my final goodbye to some of you, I still hope you accomplish every goal that's in front of you. No matter what the trials and tribulations may bring you, may you overcome every obstacle you face. I encourage everyone to succeed and turn their new chapter. Build from mistakes and challenges, dream big, live strong. Each year, the Dalton Education Association recognizes one eighth grade student who is well-rounded, performs well academically, and is an overall good person. He or she shows good character, leadership skills, and is a scholar and role model amongst their peers. This student exemplifies the traits of a lifelong learner that will be a productive citizen. This year's recipient is Promise Ivy. The Krista McAuliffe Award is given in honor of Krista McAuliffe, the social studies teacher from New Hampshire. She was one of over 11,000 educators chosen to be the first civilian to go into outer space. Her goal was to teach two lessons from space. Unfortunately, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded within the first few minutes of launch. In honor of Krista McAuliffe, the Dalton Education Association presents this award to an eighth grade student who excels in science or social studies. This year's recipient was chosen because of her avid excellence in social studies. This year's winner is Shanti Jones. The Most Improved Student Award is designated for one student that has exhibited improvement and effort during the 2019-2020 school year. Washington eighth grade homeroom teachers recognize this student for showing that we can all show determination and challenge ourselves. We can all work to strive for the best and this student exemplifies that. This student is awarded a certificate as well as $100 check courtesy of Mr. Charles Gibbons, board member. The Most Improved Student Award recipient is Juwan Bratcher. Our next award will be given to our top scholars. These students held the highest grade point average and will be presented with the Gold Presidential Academic Award for Excellence. The purpose of this award is to recognize academic success in the classroom. To be eligible for the President's Gold Award educational excellence. Students must meet the following criteria. A grade point average of 3.5 or better on a 4.0 scale, other school criteria, standards, and standardized achievement tests. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Shonora Montgomery, principal of Riverdale School and Early Childhood Center to announce the 2020 Top Scholars. Shatiasha Taylor. Alicia Williams, Danasia Lewis, Messiah Richmond Bush, Deshaun Ray, Promise Ivy, Shanti Jones, Mia Key. Rez Johnson, Anthony B. Now we will hear from our class valedictorian, Shatiasha Taylor, who will present her farewell remarks. Shatiasha has worked hard to maintain the highest academic standards. She is an exceptionally well-rounded student as she has been a student athlete and a member of Washington's Junior High 
National Junior Honor Society for several years. Shatiasha displays many leadership qualities amongst her peers and has always been an incredible, helpful student. Please join me in welcoming the 2020 valedictorian, Shatiasha Taylor. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shatiasha Taylor, and I am valedictorian of Washington Junior High graduating class of 2020. This day wouldn't be possible without the love, guidance, and support of my family. Being bestowed this honor, I am very grateful, proud, and aesthetic to be given this high academic award. First things first, I hope everyone is staying safe during the coronavirus pandemic. Moving forward, being at Washington School has taught me three things. One, if you set your mind to one goal and work consistently, it will pay off. Two, your hard work never goes unnoticed. Three, you can be whatever you want to be. Being valedictorian has been my goal since I was in fourth grade and I thought it wouldn't be possible. My message to the eighth grade graduates is to dream big. Always remember that you are in control of your life and you shouldn't let life control you or kick you down. Everyone has diverse goals and expectations they will or have set for themselves. So don't try to be like the next person. Always stay true to yourself. In my opinion, I feel we have been well prepared to face any challenges or obstacles in high school and will overcome them in power. Being an eighth grader teaches you leadership because you lead the whole school by example. One thing is certain, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for the amazing teachers and hardworking principal and assistant principal, Ms. Walker and Dr. Driscoll, who taught us valuable life lessons that we will carry and utilize throughout the chapters of our lives. Some of us have made bad decisions, but we've learned from them. We've also learned to not follow in other people's footsteps, but to create our own. We have took many chances and experienced changes. We've lost some friendships and we gained some, which, is a, which was a tough lesson for most. The next four years will define who we are once more, but we will never forget what we have learned in the past eight years. We've made major transformations and even made history so now, this chapter's ends, but we are ready to start the next. Remember, change is inevitable. You have to make the best of it. Life's a journey, not a race. I know you all will be successful. Shatiasha Taylor, your 2020 valedictorian. This year has truly been a unique year. This year has taken us all by surprise as the world has forced us to adjust to our new normal. What I want you all to remember as you continue to navigate through these unprecedented times is that there's really no normal. There's only change, resistance to it, and more change. I believe that you all have just learned this lesson this year. I want to highlight for the class of 2020 how you all have demonstrated your ability to persevere and overcome change. Let's look back at the beginning of the school year. We asked you to adjust to a new morning procedure, and you did. We implored you to be a service to your community, and you did. We implemented a new cell phone policy, and we asked that you adhere to it, and you did. We expected you to transition to a new bell schedule in the middle of the school year, and you did. We challenged you to accept the seventh graders into your classrooms, and you did. 
We tested your ability to persevere using a new math curriculum, and you did. We cheered you to win the basketball state championship, and you did. Finally, we asked you to adjust to remote learning, and you did. Charles Darwin once said, it is not the strongest or most intelligent person who survives, but the one who can manage change. Most people will remember the class of 2020 as the class that did not. I will remember Washington's graduating class as the class that did. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did that. Anthony Beal. Frederick Osborne. Danasia Lewis. Shatiasha Taylor. Anaya Brown. Caitlin Cole. Amarian Coleman. Savannah Crawley. Heaven English. Alexander Fields. Jeffrey Howell. Merez Johnson Jr. Journey Jones. Nefertiti Longs. Sariana Means. Brandon Mims. Jamari Minuet. Princess Muhammad. Antoine Pape. Leishan Scott. Destiny Sims. Rodney Thompson Flowers. And Jarrell Turner. Omarion Adams. Jaywan Bratcher. Devin Carlin. Angelo Chambers. Javon Collier. Shanti Jones. Tanaya Jones. Mia Key. Jeremiah Lawler, Marquise Redmond, Nasaya Richmond Bush, Jason Wagner, Brandon Walker, Lashara Welch, Alicia Williams. Isaac Wilson, Quavon Wright, Damarion Adams, Tracy Adams, Jeremy Anderson, Lazarus Bankhead, Jemiah Bowman, Anaya Buford, Devon Champion, Arius Covington, Aisha Crawley, Toronda Goldstein, Christiana Gray, Lanaya Holly, Promise Ivy, Kylie Jackson, Armani Jones. Quentin Paxton, Deshaun Ray, and last but not least, Draquan Reed. Felicia's class 2020, I want to wish all the graduates a farewell and good luck in your future endeavors. 
Um, I'm gonna miss you guys. I love you guys. Take care. A special, special recognition and shout out goes out to the eighth grade boys basketball team, or should I say the 2019-2020 undefeated class 2A state champs. I don't really know if you guys really took in or understand the magnitude of what you did for yourselves, what you did for this school, and what you did for this community. Your accomplishment transcends basketball. You were a beacon of light, a beacon of hope for the Riverdale community and for this school and for all the little kids that looked up to you. You led by example, you were leaders, and it was just an honor, an honor to be in your presence every day. Never had a group of guys that was so committed to a goal and so focused to a goal that they transcended just their childhood. You gave me blood, sweat, and tears, and I hope, and I hope that you keep that same drive, that same commitment, and that same focus as you go on to do great things in life. Um, I'm forever grateful. This community, the Board of Education, Dr. Nolte, Dr. Rilliker, Principal Walker, Dr. Driscoll, we all wish you a farewell. We all hope that you keep that same drive. And remember, from Coach Hughes to you, never, ever, ever be satisfied. Miss you guys. Love you guys. Take care. Welcome graduates, parents, guardians, staff, and community members of Dalton Riverdale School District 148. Today is a day of commemoration for the class of 2020 eighth grade students. I'm Dr. Kevin J. Nolte, the proud superintendent of schools for District 148, and it is with great honor that I personally congratulate each of you on this day as you long have awaited. During this unfortunate and unexpected closure, many of you were faced with the big question, will we have a graduation ceremony? In life, there are milestones that we as humans look forward to. Closing the chapter of elementary school and beginning a new chapter of high school is momentous, one in which I determined to make sure would be available for the class of 2020. I'd like to describe the class of 2020 as the class of perseverance. Perseverance is defined as persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Class of 2020, you did just that. You persevered, and for this, I honor each and every one of you. I hope this memorable virtual celebration is one that you will cherish and carry in your hearts. It has been my true pleasure to serve as your superintendent for the last year in elementary school. I wish each of you continued success as you continue to prosper in your educational growth. Hello, my name is Will Davis and I'm state representative of the 30th district. I'm here today to celebrate the graduates from the Dalton Riverdale School District 148 class of 2020. You made it, you did it. These are extraordinary times and I'm sure these times were difficult for all of you to make it through, but be proud that you made it, you're here. Now it's time to move on to the next level. Relish what you accomplished this year. Enjoy the friendships and the relationships that you had this year, but look forward to the next step. Look forward to the next level of accomplishment and achievement. We all have very high expectations from you. It's often said, to whom much is given, much is required. And we are asking a lot of you, and we know we're asking a lot of you, but today we're here to celebrate you because you made it through. Despite what is going on in our society and what's going on in the world today, you made it through, you persevered, you achieved, you accomplished, and we are definitely here to celebrate you. So today, stand up, be proud, stand tall, stand straight. Know that you've made it through, know that you've accomplished a great feat today. So to all of the graduates of the class of 2020 in the Dalton Riverdale School District, we commend you, we salute you, and we congratulate you. This is State Senator Napoleon Harris, just wanted to stop by and congratulate the class of 2020 for School District 148. Uh, you guys have done an exceptional job on maintaining your academics and finishing your course. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the hardworking teachers and faculty for doing an extraordinary job uh, through these difficult times for educating our children and our youth. And secondly, uh, I would like to thank our parents. Uh, parents, you guys are the gem of our neighborhoods and, and the glue that holds everything together. And last, but certainly not least, to the graduates. 
Uh, you guys are the future. You guys are the rising stars, are the ones that's going to lead this country and this state and these communities to the next uh, level. I'm so uh, proud and fortunate to be you guys, Senator, and I'm wishing you all the best as you move forward in your next endeavors to the next school, to your next opportunity. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Continue to do great things. Be blessed, be proud, and once again, congratulations. Hello, my name is Lawrence L. Jackson. I'm mayor of the village of Riverdale. I'm taking this time to send you a congratulations on graduating class of 2020. I know that this year has been a very challenging and difficult year with COVID-19, but nevertheless, this too shall pass. I'm wishing you all the best, all the success that the future may hold for you, and rest assured that you will overcome and prevail. Again, congratulations, best regards.